Praise God and hallelujah. We bless God for today too. It is a day that the Lord has made. Therefore, we will rejoice in it. Father, we are so thankful for the gift of life. We will not trample it under feet because you have protected us and you have woken us up again. Thank you so, so much. We pray, Spirit of God, that you have your way today to please speak to your people. Help us understand you better. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. People of God, I pray that the Lord himself will teach us and that we'll also share the message to everyone we know. God bless you. We'll take our devotional reading from Deuteronomy chapter 8, the verses 1 to 5. Even as I welcome you to the program, how do you understand the word of God? Deuteronomy 8, 1 to 5, let's hear the word of God. Every commandment which I command you today, you must be careful to observe, that you may live and multiply and go in and possess the land of which the Lord swore to your fathers. And you shall remember that the Lord your God led you all the way these forty years in the wilderness to humble you and test you, to know what was in your heart, whether you would keep his commandment or not. So people of God, we see what we hear what the word of God is telling us. The people of Israel were taken through the wilderness to, to be humbled and for God to test them to see whether they will keep his commandment. Today, sad things happen to us. Yes, I mean, at times we go through some sort of hardship trials, temptations, only so that if we can only rely on God to overcome, we can rely on God to to be humble enough. People of God, God tests his people. He does not tempt us. He tests us. He tests our faith just as he tested Abraham. And so we see here today that Whenever we are going through these trials and these difficulties, we need to depend on the Lord alone. It comes to humble us. So let's not give up because he is always with us through every trouble. So he humbled you, allowed you to hunger, and fed you with manna, which you did not know or did your fathers know, that he might make you know that man shall not live by bread alone. But, but man lives by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. We see here that Jesus quoted this to the devil. Yes, every temptation that the devil brought to Jesus, he stood on the word of God. But because Jesus also is the word, he returned, he replied him with the word. So this is to teach us that when we go through trials, temptations, we go through difficulties and troubles. We always have the word of God at our disposal. And the power in the word of God will overcome the plans of the enemy. It will destroy the plans of the enemy. Let's not sit and cry whilst we have the sword of the spirit with us. Hallelujah. And this is to show God, God fed them through with a manner to show that man shall not live by bread alone. They had to go hungry so that he can provide. So if the trouble doesn't come, would not know the way forward. Hallelujah. Your garments did not wear out on you, nor did your foot swell these 40 years. You should know in your hearts that as a man chastens his son, so the Lord your God chastens you. So people of God, God disciplines us so that when we come out of our difficulties, we come out as people who have fought the battle to, to win, we come out victorious. We can call ourselves that we've triumphed over sin, over death, over temptation. God is always with us and he will be with us to the end of the ages, just, just as Jesus promised his disciples that the Holy Spirit will come and he will be with us to the end. 
of the age. People of God, we have the Holy Spirit as our guide, our deliverer, as God's power in action. So let's rely on the word of God, the blood of Jesus, the name of Jesus, and also the Holy Spirit. God has given this authority unto us as children of God. God bless you that you allow yourself to be disciplined and to be used by the Lord. Share the word and subscribe. God bless you. Bye-bye.